Hello ladies and happy Tuesday and welcome or welcome back. Today I'm just going to be um, doing a mani with the new Rebel Nail Collection, The Modern Muse. Um, at first I was not sure about this collection until I seen somebody post some swatches and manis on the um, Rebel group page and then I fell in love with this set. I did not think it would be something that I like but I love it. This Manny that um, I'm going to be showing today is probably my favorite Manny ever. I don't know what it is about these colors. It's not anything I would ever pick separately, but I love this set. And surprisingly, when I got it in the mail, it was not damaged or anything. All my other collections, when I got them, they were merely salvageable. So, kudos to Rebel for uh, getting that to me undamaged. I appreciate it. I was very confused on what to do. Um, the colors that I'm going to put out are the colors I end up doing on my other hand. And I ended up using all the colors except for the LSI or however you say that, which is the sparkly Christmassy green. Um, I'm going to save that and use that during Christmas. So I'm going to use the top three colors on my right hand and then all of the colors but divine the pink on my left hand. Um, this is going to be a fun mani and First, I'm just going to um, start my prep. I'm going to put all this away and I'm going to push my cuticles back first. It hasn't been that long since I did my nails. Um, the last mani I did during a storm and my brain was all fogged up and I ended up hating it. So I was ready to change it and I was waiting on this set to come. And then I just like to take um, my cuticle bit like always and just go around my um, cuticle and get all that um, invisible cuticle off. That way I can prevent lifting and I'm glad I did all this because I hope this mani lasts forever. Like I'm seriously, I cannot quit staring at my nails. That's how much I love this mani. Um, and then I'm just going to um, clean all my nails off with some um, rubbing alcohol uh, just to get all the dust and all that off. Now I'm just going to do my pre-shaping and just protect, ugh, <laughs> perfect my length and all that because I'm one of those that the nails have to be um, matching. One can't be longer than the other. I'm so weird when it comes to that. So it takes me a while to do this. <laughs> I was so confused on what colors to use on this mani so it took me forever just to decide on what colors to use. So I ended up using most of them. <laughs> So first, I'm just going to go in with my Kiara Sky Base, which is basically just a dehydrator. So you can use just alcohol, just um, acetone, or a 50-50 mix. And I'm going in with my Tony Lee Base, um, which is the top end base, the Universal. And I'm going to go in with Introspect First, which is this cool 90s green. And I'm going to do it on my thumb, my pinky, and then on my other hand, I'm doing it on my thumb and my pointer. This color seriously was so easy to work with. Uh, I've been enjoying doing this method where I just scoop it onto my nail. Um, it seems to work a lot better and it was just a lot easier for me to do it this way. Um, dipping just, I always end up with a ridge at the end of my nail so that's why I don't like to dip into the jar. Unless it's a big jar and a very loose color like a glitter then I mean if it's a thin fine glitter I do that. But anyway, so I'm just going to let you watch me do this and then always um, cleaning around my cuticle area with Mr. Pumpkin. And we do have a casualty later, which is very sad. But on all the colors except for the foil and the glitter, I ended up doing... Um, three coats so I slowly worked my way to my cuticle and that works very well for me because my nails have a natural apex to them. They're, they have a strong C-curve naturally so I don't have to build up an apex. If I do try to do that method then my nails turn out really bulky but yeah we had a casualty. Mr. Pumpkin broke. But the reason I take this clip, I put that on my nail because my sidewalls can kind of get in there and make it where I can't get to the edges. And I found that if I clip them back, it helps me get all the way, you know, to the edges on certain nails. So that is a good pro tip um, if you have problems with that. Like my thumbs, I can hold them with my other fingers and hold them back. But now I'm going to go in with Meraki, which is some people call it baby poop, which is this very beautiful yellow in my opinion. I actually really like this color and I can't wait to use all these colors, you know, with different things, different designs. Um, I was just so excited to use them all that I kind of just 
got so confused and didn't know what to do. <laughs> but anyway, um, this nail is kind of naturally flat, so I built this nail up a little bit different. I kind of do an apex method on it, but that's why I usually don't show this hand that often because it's not as easy to do a tutorial on, but I really wanted you to see this color and how easy it was to work with. And then on my middle finger, I'm going to use reflect, so I'm just going to show you the reflect application on the other hand, but I really do love this color. I can't say that enough. It did turn out really, really pretty. And next, I'm going to go in with embrace on my pointer which is almost a the twin of slide so if you have rebel nail slide it's basically the same color there is a little bit of a difference but i do think i like embrace better um it was kind of a packy color if that makes sense you know it's a little bit thicker to work with but it wasn't hard to work with at all um none of these colors in my opinion were hard to work with like crush from the last collection was impossible to work with it was this chunky glitter in the beach please collection and i don't think i'll ever use that color again because it was that difficult to work with but none of these were hard to work with and next i'm going to be working with reflect but before um i ever add glitter usually on my nails i always do one full layer almost to the cuticle of clear just to protect my nail underneath i do think that it helps when you're soaking off to have that layer of clear underneath so um i do suggest that but it's not a necessity or anything like that um just do a thin even layer of base dip into your clear um, and then dust it off and then you can start working with your glitter especially chunky glitters and if it's super chunky glitter you can go in with two layers of clear but um, what I do is I take the cupcake liner I pour all of the foiled um, dip in there and then I shake the foil to the top and then lay my nail on it and then right when I pull it out I'm going to go ahead and work on cleaning up my cuticle and then pressing down the foils like barely you know you're not going to hard press it or anything like that and if you feel like you need foil, you know, more foil, you can always shake some to the top and then take a little bit of base and then add it, you know, with a dotting tool or a toothpick. But it brought plenty to the top for me. Um, I was happy with the application. I only needed two layers. Um, it is kind of a sheer color. Like at the end of my nails, if I uh, put them into the light, I can kind of, it's almost like a um, jelly color. I can kind of see through it. But then when you put it down, it, you know, it looks opaque, so... You could go in with three layers, but it's not necessary because I am going to encapsulate it. And I do think that Divine, the next color that I'm going to work with, complemented Reflect so well. I mean, this was such a beautiful color. And again, just laying my nail flat and always shaking that foil to the top. You know, um, that way, unless you, you know, you don't want that much foil, then you don't have to do that. But I think that's what makes the color so pretty. And this was the easiest foil dip I've ever worked with. And now I'm just going to um, go into Divine, which um, it's a fine milled glitter. So I can just dip right into the jar and it is my pinky. And this color is beautiful. It's like um, a fancy Margot or um, bubbly with you know a little bit chunkier glitter pieces it is so beautiful i mean this color is just gorgeous i love it um to me it would be a color you could use all seasons it's just gorgeous and i only did two dips of this color also um it didn't need that much it is a sheer color but it looks really pretty and now I'm just going to encapsulate these colors. Um, I've already encapsulated all the other nails. So I always encapsulate with um, a layer of clear just to protect the color from buffing and filing and all that jazz. And it does help even out the nail if you have any, um, you know, dips or bumps or anything like that. That way when you file you get a, a nice even layer. And just dust all that clear off that way I don't contaminate my seal protect and I use Kiara Sky seal protect um, it's just what I've always used I've never tried a different one I'm just putting a good generous amount on it I've already done my other hand so it's ready to start filing and I like to just sharpen up my edges first and get my um you know my shape down packed before I start using my e-file it's just always easier that way that way I don't accidentally over file or anything like that because, when, believe it or not, when you're dipping, you can lose your shape. You know, it just happens. <laughs> but I just always go in with my diamond bit and seal my cuticle area, contour the nail, 
and all that. And ever since I started doing it this way, I do not even go in my buffer ever unless I just have a bump that I can't get rid of. And when I first started using the e-file, I would use my sanding band, which is almost like a buffer to do this part. But the only bad part about that is if you hit your skin with a sanding band, it's going to tear up your cuticle. If you hit your skin with this diamond bit, it does nothing to your skin, nothing to your cuticle. So it's a safe way to do your nails. It's not hard. Okay, I've already done this hand and it looks so beautiful. So I'm going in with my Model 1's um, base coat. Um, in my opinion, it's very important to use a base coat first to keep your nails from peeling. Any time that I went in with just my top coat, I always experienced peeling. Um, it might have been because I was using a cheaper brand back then, but I always go in with the base coat. And then I cure my base coat for 30 seconds in my LED and then my top coat um, for 60 seconds in the LED. And again, I really love this brand. I mean, they really outdid themselves. It is so shiny. But I want to thank everybody for watching and I hope you all enjoyed this manicure. It is one of my top favorites to date and I have been dipping almost two years. But please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will add in some final shots to this. But thank you for watching.